as I was saying, I was preparing that joke all day. We are spaced out because <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a long day, but for you guys too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, well, we're we're happy to have you, especially that this film is so unique and different because of the tone of it. I think it's like the perfect ingredient of humor and seriousness at the same time. Did you feel it from the script, and was it something you really were looking forward to doing? Yeah, I mean, I laughed out loud as I was reading the script, and I and I and it wasn't what I expected because I heard the premise before I read the script and thought it would be a much kind of darker, <clears throat> more, you know, a movie about like existential dread. And it's it's not. It's this really uplifting, positive celebration of human beings, you know? And, and uh, I just I just loved it. And I mean, I read the, the script and finished it and instantly turned around and, and, and read it again. I was just to see how the writer did what he did. Um, and, uh, and, and, and I think all of us who made it kind of at the end of the day went like this is a wonderful thing to put out into the world and and particularly you know in in as the political season ramps up back in America it's like and everybody's trying to divide us um, this is a movie that tries to bring everybody together. Uh, music, obviously amazing. Everybody's been asking you what music would you take with you to Mars. I was thinking about it today. It's TV Wonder for me. It has to be Stevie oh, Wonder. Oh, he would be up there for me too. Yeah, I love him. I've seen him in concert and um, he's, he's one of the all-time greats. I, and, and that's who I was saying. I, you know, I, I think any of those kind of people who've had these incredibly long, like, U2 or the Stones or mm. you know the Beatles I know weren't together for very long but they were incredibly influential in my life so I'd bring a band like that but even the newer ones would be like Pearl Jam like bands that have been together for 20 years you know um, you know anybody who's been slugging it out for a long time usually is somebody that I'm listening to true What's great about Mark is that you root for him, basically. I just really wanted him to make it. I can't explain that feeling, but you get attached to the character. How did you perceive him yourself, the way you wanted the audience to see him in his very introspective, kind of a little bit going mad but not going mad kind of state? Well, <clears throat> you know, so much of it was in the book. A Andy Weir really created the character. And I, I just, you know, which, you know, the book's a big hit. You know, a lot of people love it. and and. I was just trying to retain the things that were, those qualities that were in the book. So I didn't think about, okay, well, how will people think of me if I do this or that? It was more just trying to tap into that Mark Watney quality that was really clear in the book and really clear in the screenplay that we had. That our, our screenwriter, Drew Goddard, did a beautiful job at kind of adapting that book. and. Um, and so, and then it was, and then I was in the hands of Ridley Scott. So, you know, that's a pretty good place to be. He's so cool. Yeah. Do you have a, a top three uh, ways to accept uh, a role, basically? Three things that you can't live without, or one thing? Well, the director is the, is the absolute, that's the most important thing. But, you know, talking to Ridley just earlier today, he was saying the script for him, because he obviously already is the director. But so so those so if you have a an, a great director and a great screenplay, you're you're in really good shape. And do you ever say no to George Clooney if there's ever a movie and he asks you? Do you dare? I, no, 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 no. I wouldn't say no to George. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, not just yeah, I mean, not because he's my friend, because he's I, I admire him deeply. I mean, he is, he's he's one of great. the most gifted people I have ever met across a whole range of disciplines. I mean, from acting to writing to directing to producing. It's like he can do all four of those things and do them at an insanely high level. So no, if he's, if he's doing something, chances are all of the kind of the checklist of things that I would worry about have already been met. And um, so it's just a matter of saying yes.